When I was a kid, how did I become an artist? There wasn't an option. Because my mother was a professional artist, it was kind of a given that she would facilitate my abilities and nurture them as much as she could. If I had tried to be a lawyer, she would have disowned me. So it's just natural. I'm not happy unless I'm creating something. My name is Nick Mills. I'm from New York originally, and I'm an artist of many different media. Now it's portrait photography. I was accepted at the prestigious Cooper Union School of Art and then summarily expelled two years later. Immediately hit the streets of New York selling airbrush design t-shirts, which ended up in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, luckily. I painted the murals at Indochine, New York, which is one of the hot restaurants of the city. So I always seem to fall into these lucky breaks. I always had an idea of what to do, and I would just try it and do it, and somehow I always got lucky that it worked. I never made money, but I never starved. My mother did these beautiful Easter eggs. So I built a little studio, and I took my lamps, my soft boxes, and I shot the eggs. And I had a friend who's a cinematographer, he's a cameraman. He helped me to figure out how to do this high key lighting to really make the eggs look beautiful. And then I thought, you know, I could put a person's head in this larger version of the same setup. And so I did, I had some friends come over and I took their picture and I thought, wow, this is, this is really something. I wanted to catalog and record the fashion statements of the young people in Portland, Oregon. The hipster look. And I had come from New York where there was the punk look and before that when I was a little kid there were hippies. And I watched these changes and then here's this hipster look and I thought I'm going to capture this. So I built on the back of my pickup truck the photo studio and I recorded the hipster look by driving around into different neighborhoods, parking and holding photo sessions. That started in 2015 and I did it for one whole summer and it was embraced right away. I would shoot from six, seven o'clock until two in the morning and it would feel like one hour. And I thought, wow, if I'm in...